We're finally getting it. We're finally getting some solar, guys. We went ahead and made the investment for emergencies. It's not a huge unit. And I ended up choosing the EcoFlow because at the present time, it was the best deal I could find. And it is a good brand. Uh, it's highly rated. I did my research on these uh, power stations. So I went ahead and uh, purchased it. I got the 110 watt solar panel that goes with it. And um, I have to tell you, um, we recently bought this. Uh, we've had it just over a week now. I haven't even unboxed it. I was waiting to do a video on it. Uh, for those of you who might be interested in looking into a solar power station. And it was something we were looking to buy because we want to have at least some kind of a backup generator with gasoline prices and propane prices going up and also scarcity of all of the above. Uh, we had decided that solar right now would be the way to go. If we ever lost our power again, which we have been losing quite frequently since we moved into this property a year ago, we're now prepared. We have something that can run some of our appliances and, you know, our TV or charge our laptop, our phone. So first off, there's a box with uh, cables and quick start guide. And this is the unit. So it's not very big. It is a portable unit. It says 9.9 .9 hours, 30% charge. So we're going to hook up the solar panels and um, see if we can um, get this charged up. It comes with um, USB ports. It's got a fast charge port. And then this is to switch from DC. If you have like, it'll work like a 12, a DC battery. Let's turn it off right now. And um, we'll give it a good charge and then We'll see. Two year warranty. This is the EcoFlow River 600. I'm not really sure. I am totally new to this, guys. I have never owned a unit like this. I have no idea and it does look like it allows to plug in two panels at once and also says that the River 600 supports the use of third-party solar panels which is great because we just received solar panels from a company called Big Blue and uh, we'll be doing a little review on those as well uh, and um, so I'll be able to charge this um, power station twice as fast. This will not run your whole house. This is just for emergencies, you know. Um, and eventually we are going to have to, you know, get solar for the entire cabin. And that's what we're, that's what we're uh, trying to do, ultimately. And you can also use this while it's plugged in and charging. You can also use it at the same time. So you're getting a constant charge as you're using it, which is pretty good. Of course, you can charge it with your solar panels or connect it to your car charger as well as your house uh, socket. So um, it'll take most aftermarket solar panels, not all of them. Uh, you have to uh, make sure that it has the correct hookup. Um, This particular unit only supports parallel connection and not in series. So let's check out the solar panel. crystal silicon cell solar panel and it just unfolds like this all right so what we're going to do we're going to take this out back and plug it in and see if we can charge it
you got this little clamps over here. You just clamp it to hold it. I'm not too impressed with this setup, frankly. But I'm um, not really sure. I think it's something like this. Okay. And that's the best it's going to be. That, as per the instructions, that is how it is. This is a wide panel because it's uh, there's four panels, and a lot of times they have like two. That's it. <laughs> and um, this is what it is. Put the positive. Just this here. The red with the red snaps right in. Same thing with the negative, snaps right in. Take the other end of the cable, and this is where you plug in your solar panel. It's charging. I'm not too crazy about the actual stand to hold the panels. I mean, I guess it'll do the job, but um, I don't know. I wish, I kind of wish that the panels came with their own stands. So, we plug the solar panels in, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, because a lot of sun, you can see the wheel spinning because it's charging 31% and just so that we don't keep this in the sun I'm going to put it underneath here so it's in the shade we have also received some solar panels from a company called Big Blue Big Blue is a company that makes solar panels and solar power stations and they have different sizes of uh, power stations all the way up to their 2500 model which is their largest unit and it has uh, 2500 watts with a 5000 watt peak so you could literally run your entire house all of your appliances with that one unit it is much larger than the one that we have purchased um, these are the panels that they sent us. There are 100 watt panels. So we're doing an unboxing of it. It's got the dual solar panel with a built-in handle. So comes with its own stand so you can set it down see what I'm talking about that's a stand and it comes with all the different attachments so now the EcoFlow panel that we purchased uh, with the EcoFlow 600. So I don't know how well you can see, but it's uh, five hours left to full charge. It's at 35%, 36% charge right now on the battery and is 0.35 input watts. Now I'm going to hook up the solar panel for the big blue and see how that performs. So I just plugged in the uh, big blue solar panel. It's a 100 watt panel. It's a 003132 uh, input watts. And it says it's got about six hours left on a full charge. And before I had it plugged in and it said five. So um, I would say that they're pretty compatible considering uh, that the one that came with the unit 
the EcoFlow is 110 watts, so it is a little bit more powerful than the Big Blue that we received. But overall, I think it's performing great. And guys, just to do a fair review, I have moved the solar panels in uh, different positions. As you can see, I've disconnected the Big Blue and reconnected the EcoFlow. Um, and uh, 0 0.0028 input watts. So, and it says now six hours to full charge. So, after testing both solar panels, one being 110 watt for the EcoFlow versus the 100 watts uh, of the Big Blue, I will have to say that by my testing, the Big Blue is actually charging slightly faster than the EcoFlow. The size difference, and this being a 100 watt panel versus 110 from the EcoFlow, the Big Blue is performing excellent. It's putting out a lot of charge on this unit. So, with two hours, two hours to a full charge. Now we're going to be testing the 28 watt panel that we received also from Big Blue. It's called the Solar Pack and it's uh, very portable and uh, instant solar charging. So you can charge your cell phones, you know, smartphones, droids, tablets, whatever. You. Um, so let's uh, open this up and take a look. This is a 28 watt solar pack and uh, let's get it open. Okay, very nice bag with the Velcro, nice packaging, instruction manual, 18 month warranty on all of their equipment. Uh, so this is the solar panel, there's four individual panels and then in here you have your all of your connectors, it is waterproof and let's see here, these are just hooks if you want to hook it to like uh, something or a backpack or hang it to a tree if you're camping, uh, it comes with a little charger cable, USB, that plugs into your phone, so let's see if this is going to be one that fits my phone, otherwise I have my own cable. Inside the pouch here, you have three USB connections for your cell phones or tablets. Plug this in, you get my phone, it's completely dead. Okay, so the wire that comes the USB wire cable that comes with the kit does not fit my phone because I have an older droid. So I will be using my USB charger. Okay. And plug it in. In any of the three ports. And then plug the phone in. Let's open up the panel. Like so. Okay, there. Now, 1% charge, okay? My phone is completely dead, okay? Yet I did not have the slightest bit of charge on this phone. So it is dead, uh, completely dead, and it is now s showing a 1% charge. So it's charging. We'll leave it plugged in. But this is great guys, you can take this with you, you can put it in your backpack, your bug out bag, uh, which is something we're going to be using it for. We're going to be putting this in our bug out bag. Why do we need a bug out bag, you ask? If you have to ask, then you need to do your homework. Because with everything that's happening right now in the world, I mean, yes, we're in a pretty safe place where we are. But if we had to bug out for whatever reason, 
We keep a bug out bag in the vehicle with everything that we might need, including some food supplies. And, um, you know, if we have to head for the mountains, then we head for the mountains. We're, we're uh, 10 minutes away from 3,000, over 3,000 feet elevations where we are. So I can just get on the road and uh, actually we just did maintenance on our van. We just got new brakes on it all the way around. Did an oil change. Finally, I've had that van for just over a year and I hadn't done anything to it yet. To look into this big blue company because they have a great website. They have a great product. It's highly rated. I personally had never heard of them until now uh, but that goes to show you uh, there are companies out there that are less known and they have the same pretty much kind of product this is a high-end product this is a very good product uh, I did you know some research on the company and I looked at their product and also their power stations and it's nice stuff now I wish I could plug both panels in because I am actually able to do so once I get the splitter. I have to get the splitter cable so that I can join the two together. And, uh, and then I can charge the uh, power station twice as fast. It's been about 20 minutes since I plugged in my cell phone to the power pack. It went from 0 to 17% charge in about 20 minutes with the uh, big blue solar pack. It's a 28 watt solar pack and it's working great. Again, I think they're compatible uh, considering that the EcoFlow is 10 watts more powerful than the one that we got for review from Big Blue. I would say the Big Blue is performing excellent. And the prices on their products are very, very competitive, guys. And they have a great sale right now. Go to their website, links in the description. And, uh, and you'll be able to see. Do your own research. But they're highly rated. I would recommend them for sure. I hope that the review was helpful. And uh, if so, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, stay tuned for another video coming real soon. Take care.